Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the broadcast of this MIAA tournament matchup between the visiting Adrian College Bulldogs and your Albion College Britons. My name is Jake Moss, and I'll be taking you through tonight's game. We're glad you could join us here. We wish you could be with us in person, but we're just glad that you could join us whatsoever. So please stay tuned and enjoy this live stream commentary of the MIAA tournament quarterfinals. In just a minute, we will send it down to our public address announcer for the pregame introductions and starting lineups.
All right, folks, everyone's been introduced. We're ready to go. MIAA tournament quarterfinal action. The Adrian Bulldogs visiting the Albion College Britons. Taking the tip will be Denai Beavers for Albion. Just edging out Shatrice Graves. Chelsea Palmer now with the ball, looking for a little bit of space. Can't make it past Denia Beavers. That ball is going to be hit off of her foot and roll out of bounds. So Albion will get their first possession of the game here. Sierra Cole's going to take an inbounds pass and bring it across the half-court line. She passes on the right wing to Elena Welker. Welker going back to Cole. Cole, she's going to call some kind of a play and give it back to Welker. Welker heaves it across the court to Rebecca Ross, then gives it to Cole. Cole goes at the free throw line. To Rain Hinton, who passes out wide to Elena Welker, who drops a three-pointer. Elena Welker, who averages the most three-pointers per game for the Britons, getting things started early. Shatrice Graves goes to Chelsea Palmer. Palmer passes down low to Kaya Warner. Warner giving it back to Graves. Graves tries to work away around Rain Hinton. That's not going to work. That pass is going to be picked off by Elena Welker. Welker looking for some help. She gives it to Sierra Cole. Cole gives it on the left wing to Rebecca Ross. Ross passes inside to deny Beavers. Beavers is going to try to work some kind of a fadeaway through the basket, but she's going to be blocked and stripped by Chatrice Graves. Kyle Warner now trying to get past Rebecca Ross. Goes underneath the basket. Her pass is going to get picked off by Rain Hinton down low. Hinton will give it to Rebecca Ross. Ross is looking for numbers. Doesn't find any. She's going to try to go by herself. Fakes one, passes out wide on the right wing to Sierra Cole. Cole gives it back to Ross. Ross, Rain Hinton, says, I'm open, I'll shoot. She's going to miss just off the side of the rim. Denia Beavers tried to get that rebound. It is instead picked up by Riley Campbell for the Bulldogs. Kaya Warner looking for some space. She gives the ball to Rachel Booker. Rachel Booker to Shatrice Graves. Graves wants to get past Denia Beavers. And Denia Beavers is going to get a block. Just a couple minutes ago, Shatrice Graves was able to block Denia Beavers, and Beavers returned the favor on the other end. Elena Welker wide open, tries to hit another three, misses off the rim. Rebounded by Rachel Booker. Kaya Warner trying to find a lane. She puts a floater through the net. So Adrian's got their first points of the game on the board, 3-2 in favor of Albion. Welker trying to work herself underneath the basket. Goes out wide to Ross, who passes at the top of the three-point line to Rain Hinton. Hinton tries to go inside. Ball is bobbled a little bit, eventually stolen by Adrian. Ty Warner passes out wide. Ball is eventually worked down low to a wide-open Shatrice Graves. Shatrice Graves is going to make that shot and be fouled in the process by Rain Hinton. So Rain Hinton is going to pick up our first foul of the contest, and Shatrice Graves will go to the line. She will make that shot. So an and one play now gives Adrian the lead. Sierra Cole looking for an answer. She passes to Rebecca Ross. Kyle Warner ready to play defense on Ross, so she passes to Welker. Welker to Hinton. Hinton down low to Denai Beavers. Misses. Rebounds. Tries again. Does not make the shot, but she is fouled. She will be fouled by Chelsea Palmer.
So Janaya Beavers goes to the line. And again, that foul came from Chelsea Palmer. If Adrian's going to stay in this game, they're going to need Palmer to avoid early foul trouble. Chelsea Palmer, the Bulldogs' leading rebounder with 9.4 per game. And Denia Beavers is going to miss that one. Scramble for the ball. Elena Welker tried to get it, but Chelsea Palmer got her hands on it and passed to Kyle Warner. Warner now back to Palmer. A little bit of a spin move fadeaway. Makes it work. So Palmer puts a couple more points on the board. In transition, Rebecca Ross tries to push the tempo and get a quick basket. She'll be stopped. Adrian now on the other end. Palmer tries to go down low, and Palmer's going to be called for an offensive foul. So pretty much exactly what we just said Adrian's going to need to avoid. They've now got a scare going. So Palmer, with two fouls, will head to the bench. She's going to be relieved by Addison Bergman. Meanwhile, Rain Hinton will take a seat on the bench, and Beth Chick will see her first action of the game. Rebecca Ross passes on the right wing to Elena Welker. Welker looks for a pass, gives it back to Ross. Ross on the left side to Sierra Cole. Cole calling for some kind of a motion. Elena Welker finds herself wide open, puts up a three-point attempt, and misses off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Kaya Warner. Warner now looking for some space. Gives it to Bergman. Bergman tries to pass down low to Chatrice Graves. Graves gets a hand on it, but not two. That ball's tipped out of bounds, and the Britons will take over. Sierra Cole going to lead the charge. Finds Rebecca Ross open on the left wing. Misses that three-point attempt. Rebound by Denia Beavers. And Beavers forces a shot up. Beavers did not have a lot of room to move there, but she managed to get two points through the net for Albion. Riley Campbell giving the ball to Booker. Booker to Warner. Warner passes out wide to Chatrice Graves, who tries a mid-range jumper, misses long. Rebounded out of the air by Rebecca Ross. Ross trying to push the tempo as she likes to do in transition. Tries to pass out wide to Elena Welker. Ball's going to be tipped out of bounds by Rachel Booker. And we've got a few subs coming into the game. Adrian's going to bring in Katie Shannon. It was a little surprising Katie Shannon didn't start. She has started nine games so far this year. And Dariana Little, the newly checked in Dariana Little, is going to put two on the board right away and make an immediate impact. She checked in just a few seconds ago along with Angelina Mendieta. Chatrice Graves trying to get past Beth Chick. Just kind of heaves the ball up into the air and draws contact in that process. So Beth Chick will pick up her first foul of the game. And Chatrice Graves will make the first attempt. Neither team looking to bring in a sub, so we will keep things rolling here. Coach Cardin for Albion currently sitting down. Not yet on her feet. Only a matter of time, though. <laughs> Kathy Morris, though, for Adrian. Pacing up and down the bench. Very active calling plays for her team. Mendy Ada with the ball. She's going to pass on the left side to Welker. Welker passes to Beth Chick. Chick tries to pass to Darion a little down low. That pass is tipped around and eventually picked up by Adrian. So now in transition, Addison Bergman looks for a pass. She gives it to Rachel Booker. Rachel Booker then drives inside, passes back outside to Bergman. Bergman misses. Rebounded by Beth Chick, who hands it off to Sierra Cole. Cole now gives it to Elena Welker. Welker looks for a pass. She tries to find Dariana Little. And it looks like we've got a kick ball on that play. So Albion will keep it. 24 on the shot clock. And just as we said a minute ago, Coach Garden is on her feet. Sierra Cole inbounds all the way at the three-point line to Beth Chick. Chick. Chick gives it to Mendieta. 
Mandieta tries to pass down low to Darion a little, and it's picked off by Shatrice Graves. Albion trying to get passes down low and just not working their last few trips. Addison Bergman tried to make her way towards the basket. Elena Welker got in there to put some pressure on her, and she traveled. So Albion take that ball back. Courtney Crawford will check into the game on the Adrian side. Shatrice Graves will have a break. Sierra Cole brings the ball up, gives it to Mendieta. Mendieta gives it to Welker. Welker down the left side to Chick. Back to Welker. Welker drives inside. Just kind of scoops one up in the air. Misses Beth Chick on the rebound and finds herself all alone. Puts an easy two on the board. And all of a sudden, we got a tie game 9-9 with 347 remaining in the first quarter. Bergman now, top of the three-point line. Pass to Riley Campbell. Campbell tries to go down low to Crawford. Tries to scoop one up there. Doesn't quite make it to the basket. Rebounded by Beth Chick. Chick gives it to Sierra Cole. Cole examining her options. Katie Shannon wants to play some tight defense. Mendieta now. Mendieta gives it to Welker on the left wing. Welker doesn't know what else to do, so she puts up a three-point attempt. Misses, rebounded by Beth Chick. Ball is heaved back out to the three-point line. Makes its way into the hands of Sierra Cole. Cole gives it to Mendieta. Mendieta looking for her options. Gives it back to Cole. Cole goes down low to Darion a little. And little misses, but it's rebounded by Beth Chick. Chick tries to put up a shot. She's blocked. Ball goes out of bounds. So the Britons will keep the ball as a pair of subs come in. Rain Hinton will return to this game, while Lolo Reed will see her first minutes of tonight's game. Inbounds to Angelina Mendieta, who puts up a three-point attempt and misses. Darion a little on the rebound. Tries to put up a shot. She's blocked. Rachel Booker on the rebound. Katie Shannon now gives the ball to Bergman. Bergman looks for a pass. She finds Riley Campbell. Campbell is going to heave up a long three-point attempt, and she's going to make that one, touching nothing but the net. Lola Reed in transition gives it to Mendieta. Mendieta looks for her options, gives it to Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed thinks about going inside, then thinks otherwise. Mendieta gets a pass. She puts up a three-point attempt and misses. Elena Welker looking to immediately put some pressure on Rachel Booker with the ball. Booker hands it off. Ball is worked around. Eventually finds its way to Riley Campbell. Campbell finds some space. Heaves up another attempt. Misses that one off the side of the rim. Rebounded by, it appears, Katie Shannon. Yep, Katie Shannon. A foul is going to be called on Angelina Mendieta. So both teams will bring in some subs. Albion's going to bring in Denia Beavers, Delisha Davis, and Rebecca Ross. Shatrice Graves gets an inbounds pass. Hands it to Katie Shannon. Shannon gives it to Crawford. Denia Beavers went to rebound the miss. Couldn't quite control it. So it goes out of bounds. Adrian looking to inbound this with 14 on the shot clock. Riley Campbell controlling the ball. Passes to Crawford. Crawford's going to pass it to Cervantes. Ball makes its way to Katie Shannon, and they're going to say Shannon was fouled down low. Ref's calling that foul on Rebecca Ross for the Britons. And Riley Campbell tried to inbound that pass, but she stepped inbounds before the ball left her hands. So that's a violation. Brits take the ball. Campbell not happy with the call. Lola Reed on the other end gives it to Rain Hinton. Hinton going down low, almost loses the ball, doesn't, passes out wide to Delisha Davis. Davis 
Works the ball to Janiah Beavers. And Janiah Beavers is going to be called for a travel on that play. Folks, I don't know what double means, but the entire Adrian bench, Adrian team, everyone is yelling it. So it must be something significant. And Riley Campbell tried to pass that ball. It's picked off by Delisha Davis. Delisha Davis taking on Cervantes in transition. Ball's going to be blocked, so Albion will keep the ball. Delisha Davis now taking the inbounds pass, trying to make her way past Candy Shannon. Heaves the pass to Rebecca Ross, who puts up a three-point attempt, and Rebecca Ross gets on the board. Rebecca Ross ties this game up with 41 remaining in the first quarter. On the other end, Riley Campbell looking to make her way past Lolo Reed. Campbell passes Katie Shannon. Rebecca Ross wanted to pick it off. Didn't quite get there. Katie Shannon tried to pass the ball to, it appears, Chatrice Graves, but we got a kick ball on the play, says one referee. The other referee near the play says, hey, let's chat about it. Now a third referee comes in and says, hey, can you let me know what's going on, please? But it appears we're all on the same page now, so we're going to keep play moving. 29 left in the first quarter, tie game, 12 apiece. Crawford passes to Campbell. Campbell passes inside to Chatrice Graves. Graves wide to Crawford, passes to Cervantes. Cervantes tries to go inside. She's going to get blocked by Denia Beavers, but pick up the rebound, and the shot clock's going to run out on the Bulldogs. Fifteen on the game clock here in this first quarter. Shot clock is blank. Twelve apiece. Lolo Reed leading the charge for the Britons. Passes down low to Rain Hinton. Hinton goes out wide to Rebecca Ross. Ross puts up a three-point attempt. Misses off the front of the rim, so time runs out here in the first quarter. We've got a good one here so far, folks. Albion 12 Adrian 12 here at Crescia Gymnasium. We're going to have some subs. Maybe starters will check back in. Both coaches will just take a minute to talk things over. Referees meeting just outside the logo to have a chat and make sure everyone's on the same page. Referee crew's done a pretty outstanding job so far, if you're asking my opinion. Or if you're not, you tuned in, so I guess I'm going to give it to you. Folks, we wish you could be here with us for this tournament action, but due to the current world circumstances, we're just glad that you could join us at all. So thank you for joining us for this live stream commentary. My name is Jake Moss. I have taken you through the first quarter, and my plan is to take you through the remaining three. After one quarter, Chatrice Graves leads all scorers with five points. All right, second quarter underway. Rebecca Ross gives it back to Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed on the right wing to Delisha Davis. Davis looks for a pass, goes to Rebecca Ross. Ross just kind of hands it off to Rain Hinton, who goes inside to Janiah Beavers. Beavers takes a shot, misses, gets her own rebound, shoots again. She makes that one. Janiah Beavers gives the Britons the lead on the first possession of the second quarter. Albion with a press right off the inbounds pass. Bergman gives it to Chatrice Graves. Graves gives it to Bergman. Bergman gives it to Cervantes. Cervantes works inside before passing out wide to Chatrice Graves, who puts up a shot and misses off the rim. Rebounded by Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed quickly in transition gives it to Rebecca Ross. Rebecca Ross around the three-point line, passes to Denia Beavers at the top of the three-point line, gives it to Davis on the left wing. Davis fakes, then tries to go inside. She's going to get fouled 
by 35, Sarah Cervantes. Three points on the board for the Britons. A quick three gives the Britons some energy. We're going to see if they can keep that up. Rachel Booker tries to pass to Addison Bergman. Delisha Davis wants that ball. She picks it off. She dives on the floor to get that ball. She gives it to Lolo Reed to avoid the jump ball. Lolo Reed. Gives to Rebecca Ross on the right wing. Ross thinks about a shot and then gives it back to Reed. Reed drives inside, puts up a short floater, misses, almost rebounded by Rain Hinton, but instead it's rebounded by Sarah Cervantes, and Cervantes gives it to Booker. Booker goes to the other end of the court, gives it to Bergman. Bergman misses a shot off the front of the rim, rebounded by Denia Beavers, who hands it to Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed driving in the lane, gives it to Rain Hinton. Hinton puts up. A shot misses, but she is fouled. So Shatrice Graves picks up her first foul of the game and sends Rain Hinton to the stripe. Rain Hinton almost a 70% free throw shooter so far this season. She'll be shooting two. Albion's going to sub in Sierra Cole and Tiffany Burgess. So Hinton's going to make that shot. Albion playing some pressure D. Trying to press before the Bulldogs can get across half court. They do get there. Rachel Booker drives inside. Passes at the three-point line to Riley Campbell. Campbell trying to find some space from Sierra Cole. Passes to Kyle Warner. Kyle Warner gives it to Graves. Graves, five on the shot clock. She heaves the ball up in the air and draws contact. Denia Beavers is going to be called for that foul. Graves goes to the line after... Shooting three for three from the stripe in the first quarter. She will miss that one in and out. Albion now in transition, led by Lolo Reed. Reed passes on the right wing to Sierra Cole. Cole examining her options, gives it to Tiffany Burgess. Burgess gives it to Hinton. Hinton down low to Denia Beavers, and Denia Beavers puts a pair on the board. Rachel Booker now on the right wing, goes inside to a wide open Shatrice Graves, and Graves misses that one off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Albion's Sierra Cole. Cole gives it to Reed on the right wing. Reed looking for space. Passes down low to Rain Hinton, and Hinton puts up a short jumper, misses, gets her own rebound. She wants to try again. Misses off the front of the rim. Not happy about it. Kaya Warner now in transition. Passes out wide to Riley Campbell. Campbell fakes, goes inside to Graves. Graves triple covered inside. Misses that off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Denia Beavers. In transition, Tiffany Burgess looking for some space. Passes to Cole. Cole. Goes to the other end, right side to Lolo Reed. Reed back to Cole, Cole back to Reed. Thinks about a shot, then she thinks again. Goes inside, drives the lane, and bounces two off the glass through the net for the Brits. Coach Kathy Morris for the Bulldogs has no choice but to call a timeout here.
Coming out of the timeout, ball makes its way into the hands of Rachel Booker. Booker gives it back to Warner. Warner heaves it under the basket to an absolutely wide open Chelsea Palmer. On the other end, Tiffany Burgess controlling the ball, trying to make her way past Palmer. Passes to Rain Hinton. Hinton puts up a shot off the glass, misses, rebounded by Palmer. Palmer gives it to Graves, who gives it immediately to Warner. Booker gives it to Graves at the top of the three-point line. Goes down low to Booker, out wide to Warner. Warner puts up a three-point shot, misses, rebounded by Tiffany Burgess. Burgess will hand it to Reed and make her way down the court. Welker now back in the game. Gives it back to Reed. Reed to Burgess. Burgess out wide to Cole. Cole to Reed. Reed on the right wing to Welker. Welker trying to make her way past Booker. Goes wide to Tiffany Burgess. Burgess puts up a shot. Misses off the front of the rim. And on the rebound, we have a jump ball. Dariana Little is going to check back into this game along with Delisha Davis. Riley Campbell is going to bring the ball up the court. No press from Albion, so she's going to take her time, call some kind of a play. Katie Shannon works it inside to Chelsea Palmer. Palmer takes a shot, misses, rebounded by Dariana Little, who is fouled. That foul coming from number four, Katie Shannon. Five oh one left to go in the first half. Albion leading 23-15. Elena Welker on the left wing controlling the ball. Goes inside, passes to Lolo Reed beyond three-point territory. Lolo Reed tries to work her way to the rim, and she's going to be fouled on her way. So that's another foul from Katie Shannon. Shannon, less than a minute ago, did not have a foul next to her name, and now she finds two of them. So Albion inbounds to a wide open Elena Welker. Welker takes a shot, misses, rebounded by Chelsea Palmer. Chelsea Palmer did not play much of the first quarter due to a couple quick fouls, but she's come back in this game and made an immediate impact beneath the backboards. Sierra Cole quickly in transition finds a pair. Before you even know it, Sierra Cole has a shot in the air. Rachel Booker now hands the ball to Riley Campbell. Campbell guarded by Delisha Davis, trying to find some space for herself. She gives it to Katie Shannon with five on the shot clock. Shannon back to Campbell, two on the shot clock. She's going to get blocked by Sierra Cole. Sierra Cole got her hand in front of that ball and made the block. Heaves a pass to Elena Welker, who fakes, drives down low, passes out wide to Romy Nashke. Romy Nashke puts a three in the air, misses off the rim. Rebounded by Delisha Davis, who keeps her balance and passes it back inbounds. Leads to a three-pointer from Sierra Cole. And the Albion sideline loves it. Coach Kathy Morris, no choice but to call a timeout. She's going to need to talk things over. The Brits bench, nothing short of ecstatic. Folks, March is National Athletic Trainer Month. So we would like to say thank you to our four athletic trainers, Andy Lawrence, Eddie Schaefer, Whitney Williams, and your athletic trainer for this game, Adrian Sanchez. 
So happy National Athletic Trainer Month, and thank you to those four incredible human beings. Three twenty-three left to go here in the first half. Kaya Warner brings the ball into their offensive zone for the Bulldogs. Gives it to Rachel Booker. Booker passes to Streets Graves. Graves tries to go down low to Chelsea Palmer. Palmer doesn't quite get her hands on it. Ball's tipped out of bounds. And the Britons will take the ball. It's Romy Nashke inbounds to Sierra Cole. Sierra Cole looks for some space. Gives it to Elena Welker. Welker fakes a shot. Makes her way into the lane, passes out wide to Sierra Cole, who puts up an attempt at a three-point shot, misses, rebounded by Rain Hinton. Hinton passes to Delisha Davis. Davis to Romy Nashke. Nashke making her way past Palmer. She's met by a wall, and she'll be called for a traveling. And after that whistle, Addison Bergman will sub back onto the court for Adrian. Two forty-seven remaining in the first half. Albion leading this one 28-15. Rachel Booker controlling the ball on the left wing. Passes to Bergman. Bergman passes to Campbell. Campbell to Booker. Booker wants to go past Elena Welker. Finds some space. Puts up a shot. Misses off the side of the rim. Rebounded by Delisha Davis. Davis passes to Rain Hinton. Hinton trying to work past Chatrice Graves. Puts up a shot off the glass and misses. I believe Bergman was on the rebound. She gives it to Rachel Booker. Bergman now goes wide to Kaya Warner. Warner to Graves. Graves to Booker. Booker to Bergman. Bergman heaves it all the way across the court to Warner. She tries to go inside, puts up a floater, bounces off the rim a couple times, misses. Chatrice Graves keeps incredible balance to grab that ball and immediately pass it back out to Rachel Booker. So the Bulldogs keep the ball, keep working it around. Now it's stripped by Delisha Davis. Davis in transition, looks for help from Welker. Can't quite find a lane for a pass. So Delisha Davis is going to get called for, I believe, a traveling. She can't believe the call. However, the call was made, so believe it. Here we go. Bulldogs bringing the ball back into their offensive zone. Bergman giving the ball to Campbell. And now we've got an off-ball foul called on Albion's Romy Natchke. Beth Chick will come back into this game. We have not seen Beth Chick for a while, but she made a dominant impact off the bench in the first quarter, picking up eight rebounds in the first quarter alone. Excuse me, four rebounds, four rebounds, correction. That ball's picked off by Albion. Elena Welker gives it quickly to Rain Hinton, and Rain Hinton sprints down the court to put two more points on the board for the Britons. Patrice Graves now looks for a pass. Hands it to Riley Campbell. Campbell guarded tightly by Sierra Cole. No look pass to Kyle Warner. Warner gives it to Campbell. Campbell puts up a mid-range jumper, misses off the back of the rim. Elena Welker on the rebound. Bit of a flurry there, scuffle for the ball. The Britons keep it. Delisha Davis goes inside, misses a shot. Rain Hinton and Chatrice Graves both got their hands on it. And we thought somebody was going to fall to the floor. Not sure who, but somebody. And both of them stayed on their feet. Jump ball keeps the ball with the Britons. 16 on the shot clock. Delisha Davis looks for an inbounds pass. 
Before that happens, there's a foul away from the ball on 52, Denia Beavers. So Denia Beavers now the only Britain with multiple fouls. Britons have been able to stay out of foul trouble here in the first half. Cervantes now with the ball for the Bulldogs. She finds an open lane and scores a layup. 17 on the game clock in the first half. Britain's leading 30 to 17 as Sierra Cole brings it across the court slowly. Passes out wide to an open Delisha Davis. Davis misses off the rim. So the clock will run out and the first half is in the books. At halftime, the score is the Albion Britons 30, the Adrian Bulldogs 17. The Bulldogs were able to keep things tight in the first quarter. But here in the second quarter, the Britons were able to make a bit of a run and pull away a little bit. What is clear to us so far is that Adrian has the energy and they have the talent to keep this game very tight, very interesting. We're going to see if they do that in the second half because when they're in a rhythm, things work for them and they can put points on the board. Albion has shown us, however, that they still have depth and they're able to bring in all sorts of players off their bench that, to make impacts here for their team. And the winner of this game is going to face the winner of Trine and Olivet. Your leading scores in the first half, one player from each team scoring six points, Shatrice Graves for the Bulldogs, Denia Beavers, the freshman for the Britons, both scoring six, your leading scores. Chelsea Palmer and Rachel Booker both putting four rebounds on the board. All of those rebounds coming on the defensive end. So Chelsea Palmer, we mentioned when she picked up her first foul early in the game that they want to keep her out of foul trouble because she is the team's leading rebounder and is a force on the boards. She picked up another quick foul and had to miss most of the first quarter, but as soon as she came back in to begin the second quarter, she made her presence known and she made an impact. So we're going to have to see if she can stay out of foul trouble and continue to make that impact in the second half. That's going to be what you need to watch for. So halftime, we've got 12.23 left on the clock until the second half gets underway. Thank you for joining us, folks. My name is Jake Moss. I've taken you through the first half. Can't wait to take you through the second half of this MIAA quarterfinal tournament action. Thank you and go Brits. Stay tuned. Second half action underway. Rebecca Ross quickly in transition tries to put up a layup. Misses that one. So Riley Campbell bringing the ball back into the offensive zone, trying to get the second half offense going for the Bulldogs. Kyle Warner now gives it to Riley Campbell on the left wing. Campbell trying to work her way past Sierra Cole, puts up a floater from underneath the backboard. 
She misses the shot, but she does draw a foul on the play. So Riley Campbell's going to go to the line. She will miss the first. She makes the second. Ball working the way around the perimeter on the other end for Albion. Rain Hinton goes inside, passes it wide to a wide open Rebecca Ross. Ross misses off the rim. Rebounded by Adrian's Shatrice Graves. Graves will hand it off to Booker who gives it to Kyle Warner. Warner, looking for her options, gives it to Rachel Booker. Rachel Booker gives the ball to Shatrice Graves, who tries to make her way around Denia Beavers. Passes to a Chelsea Palmer, and Palmer makes a mid-range jumper. Elena Welker now receives a pass on the three-point line from Rain Hinton. Ball makes his way to Cole, makes his way to Ross. Eventually, he finds Denied Beavers inside. Beavers misses off the side of the rim, gets her own rebound, and she makes a pair of points for the Britons. Not exactly sure what the call is from that referee. It appears to be a foul now on Chelsea Palmer, and it will be Albion Ball. So now Sierra Cole looking for an inbound pass. Heaves it to Denia Beavers. Beavers gives it to Rain Hinton on the left wing. Hinton trying to make her way past Rachel Booker. Kyle Warner switches to cover her. Elena Welker gets a pass, goes down low to Denia Beavers. Beavers tries to put up a shot. Misses off the bottom of the backboard. Shatrice Graves on the rebound. Gives it to Rachel Booker. Booker almost hands it off to Riley Campbell. Doesn't find the space. Kyle Warner now goes inside to Addison Bergman. Bergman gives it to Riley Campbell who puts up a three-pointer and misses. Rebounded by Elena Welker. Welker may be pushing the tempo in transition. Passes wide to Sierra Cole on the left wing. Back to Welker. Welker tried to fake and go inside. A traveling was called. So Adrian will take the ball. Kyle Warner now with the ball, staring down Rebecca Ross. Riley Campbell passes out wide to Rachel Booker, who's open at the three-point line, misses a three-pointer off the rim, gives it to Elena Welker off the rebound. Welker to Ross, Ross to Welker. Welker finds Rain Hinton inside. Hinton makes her way around Shatrice Graves, puts up a shot, misses. Denia Beavers gets the rebound and puts a quick forward through the net. <laughs> Rebecca Ross picks off that pass. She's trying to make her way all alone, down on the other end, fakes a shot, Takes a step, shoots again, misses, gets her own rebound, puts up another shot. She knocks that one down with contact. So Ross is going to go to the line and try to make an and one play out of that fast break. Shatrice Graves was called for the foul. 
Rebecca Ross will make that free throw and complete the and one play. Sarah Cervantes is going to make her way onto the court for the Bulldogs. Cervantes now looks for the inbounds pass. Tries to pass to Rachel Booker. Elena Welker knocks it out of bounds and says try again. Ball's inbounded to Addison Bergman. Bergman gives it to Graves. Graves gives it to Cervantes. Cervantes backs up, checks her options, gives it to Katie Shannon. Shannon being guarded by Sierra Cole. Passes out wide to Bergman. Bergman goes inside of Streets Graves. There's a foul on the floor before the shot. Rain Hinton is going to be called for that foul. Addison Bergman receives the inbounds pass, goes inside, tries to pass to Shreese Graves. She's picked off by Rain Hinton. Hinton has numbers with Elena Welker. She's going to take it on her own and be called for an offensive foul. The Bulldogs' defense able to take that charge to perfection, and Rain Hinton is going to be called for her third foul here in this game. Balls worked around the court. Bunch of people trying to get their hands on it. Nobody quite had possession. And finally, Denia Beavers is going to get called for a foul. So Adrian will take the ball. Denia Beavers now with three fouls in this game. Katie Shannon now with the ball. Puts up the free throw attempt. Misses off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Elena Welker. Welker in transition. Passes on the right wing to Sierra Cole. Cole back to Welker. Looking for her options. Gives it back to Cole. Cole back to Welker. Just playing catch at this point. Back to Cole. Amanda Larson open at the top of the three-point line. Fakes the pass. Goes inside. Gives it to Welker on the outside. Welker trying to drive towards the rim. Goes out wide to Amanda Larson. who puts up a mid-range jumper. Misses off the front of the rim. Tries to rebound that miss, and she's fouled in the process. So Addison Bergman's going to get called for that foul. Addison Bergman, who has been playing tough defense all game long, that is her first foul. Speaks to her defensive efficiency. Beth Chick gets a quick inbounds pass and immediately banks two points off the glass for the Britons. Now on the other end, Chelsea Palmer gives it to Cervantes. Cervantes goes all the way past Alicia Davis, puts up a shot, misses long. Rebounded by Rachel Booker, who's immediately covered by Beth Chick. Booker puts up a shot, misses. Satrice Graves on the rebound. She's going to be blocked from behind by, it looked like, Delisha Davis, and the ball rolls out of bounds.
Shannon will make the first free throw attempt after that Lola Reed foul. Shannon now with her second attempt on the way, makes it through the net. Felicia Davis passes to Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed passes to Welker. Welker goes inside to Amanda Larson, and that ball is going to get picked off by Rachel Booker down low. Booker now working the ball on the other end. Goes wide to Katie Shannon. Shannon goes underneath the basket, puts up a short floater, misses off the back of the rim, rebounded by Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed, according to the referee, touches the baseline. And so that ball's out of bounds. Adrian will take the ball back. Chatrice Graves receives the inbounds pass, gives it to Cervantes. Cervantes back to Graves. Graves all alone, so she takes a shot, misses, rebounded by Welker. Welker now makes her way to the right wing, gives it to Larson. Larson back to Welker. Welker looking at Beth Chick, decides against it, so keeps the ball. She will be fouled by Chelsea Palmer. So Chelsea Palmer now with four fouls. Amanda Larson now putting up a mid-range jumper and puts it through the bottom of the net. Adrian now on the other end. Sutrice Graves with the ball. She's going to hand it off to Cervantes. Cervantes looks for a little bit of space. Delisha Davis not giving up an inch. Katie Shannon covered by Lolo Reed. Gives it back to Cervantes who puts up a three-point shot. Misses. Rebounded by Beth Chick for the Britons. Chick gives it to Reed. Reed heaves one to Elena Welker who gives it back to Lolo Reed. And Lolo Reed's going to drive the lane. Almost makes that shot. She's going to get fouled, though, in the process. Reed now with her second attempt. Ball in the air. Ball through the net. Sierra Cole is going to return to this game and relieve Lolo Reed. Adrian inbounds to Katie Shannon. Shannon gives it to Graves. Graves back to Shannon. Albion trying to press. Shannon makes her way across half court. Gives it back to Chatrice Graves. Graves heaves it in the corner to Cervantes. Cervantes to Crawford down low, and Crawford puts up a shot, rolls off the rim before being rebounded by Elena Welker. Welker pushing the offense on the other end, can't get past Warner. Warner almost picks it off, but it's picked up by Tiffany Burgess, who puts up a shot, misses, rebound by Graves. Ball's now heaved from Warner to Shannon. And now Crawford with the ball underneath the basket, Sierra Cole gets her hands on the ball and forces the jump ball. Addison Bergman will sub back into the game. Delisha Davis now looks for her options, goes wide to Elena Welker. Welker to Cole. Cole maybe could have shot instead pass to Davis. Davis to Burgess. 
Darion a little down low, and Darion a little puts a couple more shots on the board. Albion pressing, Bergman looking for a pass. She gets the ball across half court, gives it to Cervantes. Cervantes. Cervantes is going to be fouled by Albion's Delisha Davis. Davis picks up her first foul of the game. Cervantes will make her second shot, and Amanda Larson will check back into the game. So Tiffany Burgess gets on the court for a few valuable minutes and then takes a rest. Elena Welker will join her. Lolo Reed and Amanda Larson returning to the game in their place. Delisha Davis on the right wing, passes just inside the three-point line to Larson. Goes outside to Sierra Cole. Sierra Cole misses that three-point shot off the side of the rim. Rebounded by Bergman. Warner now on the other end, passes to Bergman. Bergman gives it to Riley Campbell. Campbell gives the ball to Bergman again. Who hands the ball to Cervantes. Cervantes trying to get past Lolo Reed. Passes at the three-point line to Warner. Warner puts up a shot and misses. Lolo Reed now with the ball. She gives it to Alicia Davis in transition. And Davis is going to take on Riley Campbell. Davis is going to miss that shot as it rolls off the side of the rim. Delisha Davis gets the inbounds pass and puts up a quick shot. That ball will not find the net. Hits off the rim, gets touched by a bulldog and goes out of bounds. So Albion will keep possession. Lolo Reed inbounds all the way past the three-point line to Delisha Davis. Davis passes to Reed. Reed tries to go inside. Misses her shot, though she will be fouled. Addison Bergman is going to get called for that foul. Lolo Reed will make the first shot. And she will make that one. 47-23 here at Kresge Gymnasium. 45 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And Amanda Larson from out of nowhere. Courtney Crawford thought she had a wide open shot underneath the basket. And Amanda Larson chased her down to swat that ball into the stands. Riley Campbell looks for a pass inside, tries to find Shatrice Graves. Ball's tipped around, makes it into the hands of Warner. Warner gives it back to Graves. Graves forces her way past Darion a little and Amanda Larson puts up a highly contested shot and she finds the bottom of the net. Larson now with the ball at the free throw line. Goes wide to Sierra Cole. Cole goes to Reed. Sierra Cole all alone past the three-point line. Puts up a shot and drains one for Albion. So we got a timeout on the floor. 50-25 in favor of the Britons. End of the third quarter. We've got one more quarter of action here to come.
All right, final quarter of action underway. Bulldogs down 25, but Riley Campbell's gonna look to get the offense started. She's gonna put up a shot, misses, rebounded by Maya Shirey. A couple more shots make their way in the air until Rebecca Ross gets a rebound and is quickly fouled in transition by Rachel Booker. On the other end of the court, Elena Welker looks for a pass to Rain Hinton. The ball's going to be kicked out of bounds. So 20 on the shot clock, and Albion will keep the ball. Rebecca Ross now passes on the right wing to Welker. Welker gives it back to Ross. Ross gives it on the left wing to Cole. Cole gives it back to Ross. Ross to Cole. Cole to Welker. Welker to Cole. Cole puts up a three-point shot. Misses that one off the side of the rim. Rebounded by Shirey. Shirey we did not see, I believe, in all three of the first quarters. Now immediately making her case as an impact performer here at the end of the game. Sierra Cole's going to get called for a foul. Shirey now takes an inbounds pass. Rebecca Ross looking to make a strip. Doesn't get it. Shirey passes to Booker. Booker goes to the top of the free throw line to Shatrice Graves. Graves trying to make her way past Little. And Shatrice Graves forces a shot through the net. Under contact. Foul on the play. So Darion a little called for the foul. Shatrice Graves with an opportunity for a three-point play. Sierra Cole now taking the inbounds pass. Goes out wide to Rebecca Ross. Ross looks for some kind of a pass. Finds Elena Welker in the right corner, and Welker's going to put up a shot. Misses Long. On the rebound, Sierra Cole grabs it. Appears to be fouled. So Cole's going to be fouled by Riley Campbell, it looks like. Sorry, folks, we had to go off the air for just a second. Shatrice Graves now finds herself at the free throw line, looking to put a few more points on the board for the Bulldogs. She will make that one, bounces it off of the front of the rim and through the net. That shot misses, rebounded by Rain Hinton. Hinton gives the ball to Sierra Cole. Cole makes her way across half court, calls a play, passes on the right wing to Rebecca Ross. Ross looks for a pass to Rain Hinton. Pass sails over her head, makes its way out of bounds, so the Bulldogs will take over. Riley Campbell now trying to find a pass. She finds Chelsea Palmer. Palmer attempts to put a shot up. The shot doesn't find the bottom of the net, but she gets credit from this commentary 
just for getting a shot up in the air. She was fouled on the play, so she'll go to the stripe. Palmer will make the second as Dariana Little will check back into the game for the Britons and relieve Rain Hinton for a few minutes. Sierra Cole leading the charge for the Brits in this fourth quarter. Goes wide to Elena Welker. Welker gives it to Rebecca Ross. Ross going in motion, hands it off to Sierra Cole. Cole goes in motion, gives it to Amanda Larson. Larson goes wide to Rebecca Ross who puts up a shot and Ross is gonna miss that shot off of the rim. Rebounded by Chelsea Palmer, the Bulldogs' leading rebounder. And in transition, Palmer tries to put up a shot. She's blocked by Amanda Larson. Rebecca Ross on the other end puts up a layup. And that one rolls through the rim. So Rebecca Ross puts a heavily contested shot through the bottom of the net and finds herself looking to make an and one play with this free throw. And that is exactly what she will do. Folks, we've got some updated scores for you around the league here in this tournament. Trine University taking on Olivet, 6.53 remaining in that game. Trine leading 85-26. As Riley Campbell puts up a jump shot, and Riley Campbell makes a silky jump shot for the Bulldogs. In Holland, Hope College taking on Kalamazoo, 9-10 remaining in that game. Hope leading 89-32. And Sierra Cole is going to get blocked. Chatrice Graves with the rebound, gives the ball to Maya Shirey. Shirey gives it to Rachel Booker. Rachel Booker hands it back to Graves at the three-point line. Booker wants to make her way past Ariana Little. She gets a pass to a wide-open Chelsea Palmer, who puts a layup on the board. And the last update we have for you on this tournament, 3.59 remaining in a game between Calvin University and Alma College. Calvin leading 57-56 over Alma. So we will be watching the end of that one to keep you updated. And here at Crazy Gymnasium, we have 6.07 remaining in this game. Albion leading 56-34 over the Bulldogs. Substitution for the Bulldogs, McKenna Wilson is going to see her first minutes of action tonight. Sierra Cole bringing the ball into the offensive zone for the Britons. Drives inside, then passes to Elena Welker beyond the three-point line. Welker goes to Mendieta. Mendieta back to Cole. Cole to Amanda Larson. Larson thinks about a shot, then thinks again. Chelsea Palmer right there to play defense. Larson passes wide to Mendieta. Mendieta looking for some space, passes down low to Amanda Larson. Tries to hand the ball off with a little bounce pass to Dariana Little. That ball is tipped and picked off by Wilson. Wilson passes out wide to Myra Shirey. Shirey passes to Rachel Booker, the Bulldogs' leading minutes holder. Sierra Cole, as she tends to do, gets her hands in the play to grab that ball and cause a jump ball.
Mandieta now passes to Welker. That ball's going to be picked off by Rachel Booker. Rachel Booker trying to find a pass. She finds Chelsea Palmer, and Chelsea Palmer with an impressive mid-range jumper. Keeps offense coming for Adrian late in this one. Coach Carden's going to call a full timeout for the Britons. Coming off of that timeout, Elena Welker controlling the ball for the Britons, passes out to the right corner to Sierra Cole, who puts up a shot, misses, rebounded by the newly checked in Beth Chick. Jariana Little passes out wide to Sierra Cole, and Cole's going to give it back to Welker. Welker trying to make her way past Chelsea Palmer, passes the ball to Cole. Cole back to Welker. Welker back to Cole. Cole to Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed goes inside and tries to force a shot up in the air, maybe even trying to draw some contact. Shatrice Graves was there for the block, so... Albion keeps the ball with three seconds on the shot clock. Ball's inbounded to Elena Welker, who puts up a shot and misses off the front of the rim, so the shot clock resets. Dari Little on the rebound, gives the ball to Welker. Welker trying to take some more time off of the clock. Lolo Reed puts up a layup. Thought maybe it hit off the rim, but it did not. So the Brits are going to take a shot clock violation as senior Rain Hinton is going to come back in the game. Riley Campbell is going to try a layup. She misses that one. Rebounded by the Britons. Sierra Cole is going to get called for maybe a double dribble or some type of traveling. Cole a little bit unsure about the call still. Nonetheless, it was called. Now McKenna Wilson passed the ball to Riley Campbell on the left wing. Campbell. Looking to get past Welker. Passes out wide to Shirey. Shirey then tries to drive towards the rim and then attempts to pass the ball out to McKenna Wilson. Ball sails a little bit long. So Albion will take the ball back. Beth Chick looks to inbounds this ball. Chick passes to Lolo Reed. Reed trying to get past Shirey, who has played great defense so far in this fourth quarter. Ball's passed inside to Rain Hinton. Hinton spins around, puts up a shot, and misses, rebounded by Beth Chick. Chick goes to Welker. Welker puts up a shot, and Welker, a highly contested layup, falls through the rim.
Chelsea Palmer, impressive move. Gets past Rain Hinton to score a layup. 2.35 remaining here at Cressy Gymnasium. Albion leading 58-40. Lolo Reed still trying to keep the energy going for the Britons. Passes wide to Elena Welker who puts up a three-point attempt. And Elena Welker is going to drop a three-pointer for Albion. Lolo Reed now pushing the ball for the Britons. Gives it back to Elena Welker, who just made a three a few seconds ago. Welker taking her time, doesn't like what she sees, so she passes to Lolo Reed. Lolo Reed gives it to Beth Chick. Rain Hinton was looking for a pass underneath the basket. Elena Welker now controlling the ball. Gives the ball to Sierra Cole. Cole gives it to Reed. Reed wide to Welker, who puts up another three-point attempt. Misses that one off the rim. Rebounded by Maya Shirey for the Bulldogs, and Shirey passes wide, looking for an assist. Riley Campbell puts up a shot, misses. Rebounded by Sierra Cole. Cole passes to Lolo Reed. Reed back to Cole. Cole goes inside to Rain Hinton. The ball goes out of bounds, so we will have some substitutions. The Britons are going to sub in... Delisha Davis, Tiffany Burgess, and Romy Natchke. The Bulldogs are going to sub in Sydney Hammis and Kaylee Weed. Weed now passes to Hammis. Streets Graves wants a pass down low. Thought maybe that pass was tipped by Rain Hinton. The referee says no, so it goes out of bounds and the Brits will take it. 102 remaining here at Cressy Gymnasium in this MIAA quarterfinal matchup. Davis now goes down low. Rain Hinton just needs to get past Patrice Graves. A couple more Bulldogs coming to help. Rain Hinton puts two points on the board with heavy contact, getting fouled in the process. She's going to go to the line with a chance for one more. And keeping you updated on other quarterfinal games going on throughout the league. Calvin University currently leading Alma College 66 to 60 with 49 seconds remaining. The Britons are going to sub in Athena Sampson. Chatrice Graves, heavy contact, gets fouled, still gets a layup. She's going to be fouled by Romy Natchke in the process. Shatrice Graves now with an and one play. Shatrice Graves has been outstanding tonight on both ends of the court. Playing great defense underneath the rim while also putting plenty of points on the board and being outstanding at the free throw line. Now in transition, Weed gives it to Hamas. Hamas trying to put up a shot. Romy Nashke maybe got her hand on it. And now the rebound by Delisha Davis who is fouled. Rachel Booker going to be called for that one. Davis is going to miss the first free throw attempt. 20 seconds remaining in this game. Albion leading 63-45. She will miss the second. Rattles in and out. Rebounded by McKenna Wilson for the Bulldogs. Rachel Booker now. Tiffany Burgess playing great defense. Hamas now passes to McKenna Wilson. Wilson misses that three-point attempt, almost drops. 
Rebounded by Rachel Booker, who puts two more on the scoreboard. And the Britons will just inbound the ball, and the clock will hit zero. So Albion's going to advance in this tournament. The final score, 63-47 here at Cresci Gymnasium. So that means that Wednesday, Albion will likely be traveling, it looks like, to Trine University for a semifinal matchup against the Thunder. We will have some stats for you here in just a minute, folks. Your leading scorer here tonight is going to be Shatrice Graves, who has played absolutely outstanding here tonight. Nothing to not be proud of. 15 points for Graves, along with seven rebounds, two offensively, five defensively. She went seven for nine from the free throw line, four of 11 from the field. Also added two assists and a steal with four blocks. Albion's leading scorer tonight was Rebecca Ross, who scored 12. Ross also added four rebounds, going four of 11 from the field, adding two steals to her stat line. What we saw tonight was an Adrian team that wanted to make an impact and wanted to have an effect on this game early. They brought out energy and kept the Brits fighting real hard through one quarter. It was a tight game through that first quarter, and even through the first half, the Bulldogs were able to keep things interesting, and Albion was able to use their depth to pull away in the second half. So we did have a great matchup tonight, folks. We wish you could have joined us in person, but we're happy that you could join us over the live stream. So thank you for tuning in tonight. My name is Jake Moss, and I have been happy to take you through this one. Folks, have a great night, and go Brits.